prepared right now for what the Valiant will be throwing at them, but Shax quietly charges an EMP. Yeah, can we kind of get Here it goes. Oh, yeah. EMP gets basically everybody. Adora insta gift. Agility's down, but KSF manages to equalize on a big kill on Nakushima. Now Valiant, they've got the numbers. Can they finish it off? Going in onto Pavey. Now he's going to rocket punch him right out of the air. KSF still has that meter strike. He's not going to need another rocket punch. Takes IDK down and I think Sparks and Nap hand this one over. He's going to be better for contesting this point than the Winston. All right, EMP hits four people. Bebe still gets that Coalescence ultimate off though. And now Shax in big trouble. Rian knocks him down and Fact Fiction waiting forward with the Nano Boost on him. Trying to find a way to get the numbers to swing in Valiant's favor. Getting pushed back though. Spark have the uh, sound barrier too, so those extra shields are going to keep him in it. They're still going to go oh, in, but KSF. this is going to be really difficult, I think, for the Valiant. I mean, they don't even take the point just yet, and now Gushway has that primal. Oh, but the sleep dart! He got the sleep dart. That was cool, but Kareem is dead in the round. Goes to the Spark. It's what? Up the tempo. Gets out just in time. Now Julius getting roasted. There's a lot of charge here. KSF does kill IDK. So it's a 65 in favor of Valiant. They're going to put the nano boost on the back fiction as well as he moves forward. Transcendence right away from Bebe. But there's a nice fire strike to finish off Godspeed. And Spark on the outside looking in. They've given the point over to the Valiant for now. Looking to grab that bank account information. He's going in. Oh, EMP used as they're caught in the grab. Can they turn it around though? I don't think so. Well, maybe they can. I spoke too soon. Just way down. So counteracting the grab with the EMP essentially. But Jax does go down back to though. Still doing a lot of damage on that Reinhardt before he gets hit down by Bebe. Starting to frag out on the Zemyata. Two for him, make it a third. Bebe has come to play today. Back away, trying to flip it again. Rhea gets Vmac. That's a good start for the Valiant. And there goes Adora. Nice fire strike. Through, like three people again. Back has been nailing those before he gets nailed by Kushway. 5v5. Oh, they're using the Graviton. I guess they're going so. for it. People are hacked. That was a great charge by Kushway through the grab. Nano for Transcendence is not even in trade. Godspeed with the Graviton Surge, though, but he's down and Gushway in trouble as well. They have the sound barrier. In fact, Fiction got his shield up in front of the self destruct as well, so it's looking good for the LA Valiant right now. They're getting the stagger kills. I think they need to take the round. Yeah, I think they're going to take the round, though, and no one's going to get it. back in time. That's going to be it. Valiant, come back I off the strength of two Graviton Surges. Oh, let's break it. Damn! Shaq's on the Widowmaker now. Oh, and that is a good thing, it seems, for the Valiant. Big pick on the baby right away. Adora, or rather, uh, Rhea, nearly de -backed. Oh, man, Rhea's back taken out right away. Shaq's trying to escape down to 19 HP before he gets out. Nice shot again. Shax. Shax through, man. <laughs> He's coming He's out. Coming him. And this is... An unfortunate part of the Spark who have been sort of countered by this composition. Well, it's so tough because any DPS you put priority on leaves the other ones open. Agilities, speaking of which, gets a kill on the baby. Now, KSF is down. It's a 5v5 here, but maybe the Barrage might change that just as range from a 90 degree angle, but that's good enough. Because he gets the mech and he gets Rhea as well. Nearly 70% for the Valiant already. It's going great for LA. And Gushway just stuck in the back lines right there. KSF does get hacked at the end of it. Supercharger down though, and that's a lot of damage being done by Agilities with that Nana Boost Gosby down, and he did not get that EMP once during this round. Spark getting the kills though, so maybe with Rhea and Adora they can turn it around, and I guess they will. They did in the day, that rally helping out. <laughs> For the kill here, Godsby with a crucial EMP, possibly. If he can land it on the right people at the right time. Uh, it's gonna go to 99-99, Doa. But they're trying to wait right now. Doors coming back on the Tracer. Needs to sip his way over to the point, but nobody's what? on it! All right, Fact Fiction, I think, was supposed to get there. He's he not right at the last moment. And along with it, went the Valiant's hopes of winning that map.
might play some D.Va later. They are going to go ahead and take a look at the composition. They're going to see a double sniper, Orisa D. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Chaos, that's like what? You target my Ana? I don't think so. Right now, Factition drops down. And I don't know if he wanted to do that. Like Jack Zambini, he's going to use it right away. Oh, the bio. And the bio grenade right after that. Goodbye, tanks. They're going to rely on those spawn timers to fuel this attack. Goodbye, barrier. Yeah, that's right. And goodbye, whoever gets caught in that too. Whole hog on the back fiction. Could not avoid it. The Nano Boost Supercharger Whole Hog just melts the Orisa back fiction. That's right. Oh, hook right out of the translocator. Sauce a little bit low here. Healing comes in for Shax and KSF finishes him off. Meanwhile, Spark only about two ticks taken. Can the Valiant actually turn it? They can. What a defense for the LA Valiant. Goodbye, Gushwe, and it's just IDK floating around like a the saddest moth coming to the saddest flame, looking for the red. And now he's hacked, oh, no, and he's now he's dead. dead. And no yeah, one's gonna get there in time, Noah. Yeah, wow, what a great defense. Only a little bit less than two ticks, 65.5% taken, and that is all the spark are gonna get. The chill <laughs> Yeah, and they've actually split it up into two bunkers. The Widow Bunker here at the top, and then the Orisa uh, Bastion Bunker inside the point. But they got hit by a Biotic Grenade, and now they got flanked by Agilities. I mean, at some point, too, you need to actually get on the point and defend it. And uh, that is a very vulnerable Bastion right now. Yep, goodbye, Adora. And Valiant, not phased at all by this attempt from the Spark. That was fast. And that's the map. That's the map, Doa. As soon as they take out Maybe, the last few percent go over. Wow. I mean, the, the Spark had to do something. They went all in. Valiant meticulously flanked them and pick apart the Ryan Orisa Bastion composition. Big smiles for Custa. That Agilities poses, and there you go. That's why. As you yep. saw. He is currently at 41% of his team's final blows this oh, match. That so is low. extraordinarily high. Agilities I mean, does most of the work on that one, but Fact Fiction gets the credit. When you're caught between Arisa and uh, Farah, you're not going to last too long. You, they had him in the stairway, and it's, it's all falling apart now for the Spark. It's going to be a really fast point A take. Rhea does kill KSF with a few things to the Hanzo, I guess. But now, the hack comes in, hits five people, and the barrage on top of that Kushwe narrowly living. Rhea takes shelter under the awning, but doesn't last long afterwards. Loses the mech, and that payload moving for now. KSF, oh, come back in with two big kills, and he's got the Dragon Strike yet to boot when he needs it. Sleep Dart onto Kushwe. They bounce him into oblivion. Uh, Godsby, translocated here comes the EMP. He's gonna go ahead and use it. It's five members, everybody but Kareem. And Agility's down immediately. There goes KSF. Just a great EMP from Godsby to set that one up. And now, oh, why not? We should get a little bit of damage done at the end of all that. Time to raise my APM. You're powered up. Get in there. Feeling unstoppable. Yeah, Valiant look like they're just gonna poke. They're not gonna try and eco push and fully commit to a fight. They want to charge Shaq. Shaq is only at 45 percent though. I mean, Shaq is at a zero percent life though. Spark comes in. Easy team fight win there, and now just about 35 seconds remaining, and so many ults remaining for the Spark. Overtime ticking away. Spark, oh, they got agility. It's looking good for Hongjo here, but now the EMP comes in for Shax. Can they chain that into kills? Doesn't look like it. KSF kills IDK, but they're going to need more than that. Gushwe never did fall during that fight, and that is going to be a great hold for the Spark. That was impressive. Very impressive target selection. Spark tracking ultimates well, figuring out that Shax was what they needed to shut down. He was the one win condition. 
Now you can see that Ana is vulnerable right now in the choke point. They're trying to deal with the Ana. Here comes the nano boost. Yeah, Coach goes with that one right into his Arya shield. So KSF didn't get the distance that he wanted to with that. Goes down. There goes Shax as well. Looks like the defense on point eight not going to last as long as Valiant would have preferred. Yeah, that's the Chengdu defense right there running running the Ash there on the defense. I'm on the objective. Like to my position. Group up at my position. To the end of point B, where the Valiant were stopped. Oh, EMP catches Gushway, and he gets hit with the bio grenade as well. Jumps right to his death. There's a sleep chart on the IDK, and Valiant turning that one right around. Gushway didn't even have time to his primal rage button. He got hacked, I guess he couldn't anyway. It doesn't work out, though. Hongzhou, I mean, look at that. They're going to have six ults. You gave a lot of ult shards to your opponents, too, in that situation. It's it's a... They're, they were definitely caught between the proverbial rock and a hard place. There. Grab the top surge comes in. That might be him. We'll see. Self destruct. Nice boop. IDK. Setting up the 3K. Korea IDK making the plays again. And that's a quick one. And, and what do you do? I mean, if your payload gets stopped at point B like that, it is so hard to stop. Gone. Oh, KSF gone too. Godspeed just roasts him, man. Okay. Back on to Gushway, but no follow up. And Bebe finishes off Shaq, so Spark just kind of taken out the Valiant. Pretty easy. There was a uh, there's a charge in there somewhere, but didn't end up really doing anything for a Valiant. That's a that's a fast point a take by the Spark. <laughs> That primal range, and he could use it, trying to separate the tanks from the rest of the team. Hit with the sleep dart for a second there, stunned out. He's back, and now Shax has been in trouble. That said, grab use, got to be really low. Shax is down, it's a 5v6, making a 4v6 and Valiant on the verge of turning that fight around, but the Spark had the tools in the end. They couldn't get the follow-up damage on the Graviton Surge. Godspeed's caught in it, but he doesn't go down, gets the healing. Looked like the Brigida armor pack was chucked at him there. And he uses this Graviton, and it's gonna be soon. Same play, they're going to go in again. Now they send in the grab after Kuzway gets things started, got the Primal Race swinging away in there, and then Rhea does lose his mech. Transcend, it's not helping about there. Adora was slept for a short time as well. Now the grab comes in on the balance Five, side, and that's a big bio grenade. Healing reduced for the spark as well. Back fiction taken out, and the spark, they're turning it around. They turn it around because Gushway is able to create space. It was the self destructive Rhea wow, and Gushway coming back in with the primal that uh -oh. got them away from the Graviton surge that KSF threw in. Yeah, it looked like there was a delay there. Shax was knocked back. Yeah, took a lot of damage. I was going to take you. Oh, well, that's said, Gosby goes down. And now Valiant. Yeah, Bionic Grenade was in there, so they couldn't follow up on the Graviton. But Shaq's gonna shut this down. EMP! Our EMP does not hit Gosby, though, but it does help them finish off Gushway Transcendence, not saving the monkey. And now, KSF walking forward. He's got the grab right now. Gonna go ahead and use it to keep IDK on the high ground. Great solo grab to eliminate one more member, and that's self destruct, finding nothing for Rhea, except a Reinhardt right in his face. Grab used, Godspeed did get that ultimate in the end, but there's not enough damage, not enough people left to follow it up, and the Valiant will hold the spark just shy of finishing the map. They're trying to alternate who's on the cart right now. Yep. All right, oh, next down. That's a good bio grenade from uh, the spark side. Nano boost onto Gushue, and this is what you get the damage from. You put the nano boost yes. onto Winston, and if they can get that combo together. As you can see, that can work out pretty well. Spark. Yeah, they're just gonna back off and, and let him have it. Yeah, nothing you can do right there. Yeah. Pretty good delay, honestly, for the Spark. I think that it was not really an ideal composition. They play it well. You didn't, the Bionic Grade Aid was enough to keep them alive. Remember, low damage output from the Spark, so. Grab, all right, they're trying to finish off Gushway. They do just that. Custa caught by the self-destructed Kareem down to it now with the sound barrier on the spark side. You can take advantage of Ellie not having the oh, support. No. Oh, you can't use the EMP there. I, he saw the shield, he got greedy, wanted to clear it up, but I guess. it's gonna be hard. Now they're gonna get staggered out. 
have got knocked down a little bit. Maybe there with the transcendence. Now Shaxx responds, gets out, EMPs. Where's no the follow-up though? Rhea gonna get D-Max here, that's pretty big. Back fiction down though, they left him alone on the cart. They didn't get the healing on him in time. Rhea out of commission, but you really need that Reinhardt, I feel like. But maybe, maybe with the damage, and maybe with the rally from Agilities, they can push through. And it's another biotic grenade, Doa. Yeah. They couldn't push forward onto the payload because Kareem got the grenade on them and they have the rally. The base. But trying to stay alive right now. KSF, all right. Is he gonna go down? They're gonna try, oh, they're man. committing the oh, sleep. Oh, sleep talk with Gushway woke up again, but now he's in the crowd. Agility's down. I mean, Valiant really throwing everything they could at that. It was a desperation fight. Valiant, gonna be pushing in overtime. This is it, Doa. Yep. Can they stay in this match? Yep, trying to force it to a map. Right now, they've got the ground. Nobody allowed to come through the door. Nobody Rhea, get the, there to the Rhea. guard. Oh, he couldn't get there. Valiant, tie it up. Keeping pace with the EMP with the Transcendence. Crucially, Shaxx has a window though, here it is. All right, EMP use, that's a lot of people. He falls down though, can he get back out? Of course he can, with the Translocator, KSF has a lot of damage to help Valiant flip this one. Rally use. The Shatter! Whoa, the Shatter comes in and prevents Valiant from following up on that grab, but Kushwe donates himself to the enemy team. And now it's fine, uh, they fall back at the grab. Oh, the grab, it may have actually flipped it. It did. It wow, did that fight. The fight. That was such a bull graviton surge. As Spark, they popped the sound barrier actually going in. Shaq down early. He died again right before he got that EMP. And now the Shatter comes in, drops agilities. Sound barrier on the Valiant, but they can't keep. That fiction alive, everything falling apart for LA right now. Oh man, this round was rough for the LA Valiant and it is over now. Spark will take the lead in our tiebreaker. I think the Spark dropped the sound barrier because they wanted to bait out the EMP. Now the ground comes in, but no kills out of that one. I mean, the Valiant really I feel like they're grasping at straws, but Shaxx coming up clutch in this fight. Yeah, they're coming back. And even though all of those ultimates were disrupted by the Primal Rage, they stick together and they have to sustain. They force the re-engage from the Spark, which is going to be weaker. My No real result from that for Mac Fiction. Now the grab has the sound barriers used. There goes Custa, and Bebe just cuts apart the Hangzhou Spark. Three kills, and he made the big play on Shaxx in that one. That was a, that was a hero move for Bebe. To take the series, Kushui does get hit by the bio grenade. He's okay though. Sleep on IDK, that's huge. Yeah, that's right. Can they turn it into a win though? There's a shatter coming in. But where are the kills? Valiant prevented from getting any by Bebe's transcendence. And now Gushui with the primal rage they've taken down. Back fiction, a sleep dart onto Gushui. Can they flip the fight though? I don't think so. They're too low. They can't stick on the point. And that is a spark taking it in the tiebreaker. Now, well, let's take a look at our Omen by HP player of the match. It's going to be Godsby. Played really well today. Playing the Zarya, playing the Sombra as well. This was a sick play right here, denying Shaxx any opportunities to throw in some hacking shenanigans of his own. I, I think it's really hard to select which players of the Spark are going to be players of the map match right now because of how good the coordination is as a whole and because they're relying on everybody attacking that one player, that one target, and their excellent understanding of the enemy ult economy. But that said, Godsby still had a very good day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you gotta mention, I think, Bebe a little bit. Definitely in contention for that player of the match, too.